Worldwide, Dirty Water. And I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm Gianna Gravelisi. And I'm Kendra Middleton. Welcome to our first stop of the 2020 Jose Cuervo Tour. We're at Surfside in Salisbury Beach. Gianna, a year ago, I was actually at this show and I was lucky enough to check out the like drinks, live music, vibes they have to offer here. But the thing is, is that, you know, 2020 is a little bit different. We're definitely making some adjustments, but it's still such a party here. The atmosphere is awesome. What are you excited to check out tonight? You know, 2020 has been a pretty stressful year, so I'm most excited for the Jose Cuervo drinks that Surfside has to offer. You know, what's better than a crazy year and a tequila shot? I mean, I can't think of something better. I think I'm most excited for the live music, but we have so much in store tonight. I'm really excited to check it out. Um, I heard that there might be some like really cool cocktails tonight. Yes, there are. And today is actually National Tequila Day. So what better way to celebrate? We've got an awesome show on top for you guys tonight. Let's go check it out. Martha's Vineyard is a fresh fish oasis. Alex Garino will take you inside the net result where sushi is life. Wow. And I'll be mixing things up behind the Surfside Bar with Jose Cuervo. But first, baseball is back and so is Sam Berger. He's going to take you to Lansdowne to see how venues have changed to bring Fenway and the Red Sox back to you. And that's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Do you miss sports like I do? Well, guess what, baby? It's back. And right here on Lansdowne Street, the bars are collaborating to make this a Red Sox game day experience like you will never forget. And I was lucky enough to get a sneak peek. Let's go take a look. Lansdowne Street, surrounding historic Fenway Park, is being transformed just in time for opening day to create an environment that just might make Red Sox fans feel a little bit better about not being allowed into Fenway Park this season. The entire street will become a pedestrian only way every home game day, allowing restaurants and bars to extend their patios out into the pavement to provide a unique experience for fans with safety and sanitation being the ultimate measure. People want to get out of the house, people feel comfortable being outside, people are dying for sports to be back. Um, and you know, it's still opening day and it's still the Red Sox, so I think we'll have people down here. You know, it's, it's 60 games, so it's almost like a almost like a playoff atmosphere and uh, yeah we're excited for baseball to start. So. The Bleacher Bar, Lansdowne Street's greatest attraction with a garage window that looks directly into Fenway Park will sell their own rendition of Fenway Franks and soft pretzels along with award-winning sandwiches and bar snacks. Game on Fenway is set to open up with 32 HD TVs and an outdoor patio on top of Lansdowne making it anything but your average sports bar. Known for serving coal-fired Max and Leo's artesian pizza, Game On will serve specialty Hall of Fame pies on game days. Under the Green Monster is being built in between Game On and Bleacher Bar, so guests can sit on a patio located under the Green Monster where they can order cocktails from an Airstream sponsored by Sam Adams and Truly. The Lansdowne Pub will feature an outdoor patio that seats 30 guests and menu additions like Everything Banger Bites, along with house-made kettle corn, a true ballpark classic. At Loretta's last call, guests can sit outside right on Lansdowne Street to hear the sights and sounds of Fenway while enjoying fried hot chicken sliders, fried dough, and famous frozen bushwhackers. There's nothing like being around Fenway Park. Um, hearing the baseball players, you know, hit that ball and, you know, just being around everybody in the atmosphere. Things are slowly starting to get back to normal here in the city of Boston. Still have my mask, still have my gloves. But behind me is Fenway Park, and pretty soon this street outside of the park is going to be electric. On Red Sox game days, you're going to see huge LED screens all over this street. People are going to be screaming just like you're at the game. Sports are back, baby. Let's go. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Sam Berger. That's tonight's Big Ticket, brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Hi, I'm Higgs, so call me, get tickets, and be part of the action. Thanks, Sam. That looks like a
a lot of fun. Great for Red Sox game watches, especially when you can't physically go into the parks right now. What's so impressive to me, Gianna, is that during such a crazy time, New England has really been able to come together and put things together for people to look forward to this summer. Definitely, and I am most looking forward to going to Newport. They have amazing venues with beautiful beachside destinations, great fun for the family and with your friends. You know, I love the landing in Newport, and I heard that KISS 108's Mikey V is there to take us through another screwball summer destination spot. Celebrating summer in Newport, Rhode Island always comes with a classic, beautiful view that we love right here and amazing because the salty ocean air always cools down the temperature. The people make the atmosphere absolutely amazing. Today we're hanging, we're celebrating summer at one of my favorite spots, The Landing. They have a tropical drinks, the go-to spot for amazing seafood and hands down the best sunset in town. <laughs> With cool ocean breezes and a commanding view of Newport Harbor, the landing offers some of the best views anywhere in Newport. It's the greatest view. You get a beautiful sunset every single night, um, beautiful winds, you get a great view over the harbor, right up to the bridge. You just can't beat it. What makes the landing so unique? Why do people come back every summer, and even this summer in particular? Well, we're all about a good time. You can't knock us down. Uh, we're definitely COVID safe, uh, social distancing, but we're doing everything right. So, But you can't sunshine we're having a good time complimenting the view is the menu which offers a variety of fine dining seafood raw bar bar snacks and appetizers what is your favorite go-to meal and drink here right now at the landing uh, my drink has got to be the, the peanut butter martini it's yeah delicious. screwball it's delicious food is a lobster roll you can't go wrong any view looks better while sipping a refreshing screwball peanut butter martini we have the delicious screwball peanut butter whiskey we have baileys or brady's and we have kalua those three things together make the screwball martini what do you think Jake, I'm sold. I'm sold. There we go. Come down the landing and get a screwball martini, guys. Screwball? What, what's your favorite drink or cocktail shot? Like, what's the go-to? Peanut butter jelly shot, for sure. Oh, you, you were right to answer that. Yeah. that. Now, what is it that you love about the peanut butter jelly shot? Well, it's like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. What's Ooh. better than that? How was it? They were so good. Literally tastes just like peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly. Uh, it, it, for me, it's like being a kid again but also an adult, you got a little... Exactly, it's the best of both worlds. You got both of them. When it comes to finding the perfect spot to drink and dine in Newport, the landing can't be beat. It's simply the perfect spot to soak in summertime while enjoying the very best views in town. We can all agree summer in New England never lasts long enough, but you spend a day here at beautiful Newport or even a night right here at the landing, I'll tell you one thing, you're doing summer right. Reporting for Dirty Water TV, it's Mikey V. Up next, Alex Greeno reels in some fresh fish on Martha's Vineyard. And Kelsey Gataco takes you to Narragansett for a screwball summer night at George's of Galilee, where eat fish, love, life is the mantra. That's when Dirty Water TV's Jose Cuervo summer tour continues from Surfside Salisbury. The Dirty Water TV Summer Tour is brought to you by Jose Cuervo. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV's 2020 Jose Cuervo Summer Tour. I'm Kendra Middleton. And I'm Gianna Gravelisi. And tonight is absolutely beautiful, Kendra. I know, check this out. I mean, you can't get these views anywhere other than Surfside Salisbury. And not only are the views great, but we're enjoying the food, drinks, the atmosphere, everything. And a lot of live music tonight. Whether you relax outside on the panoramic oceanfront deck or unwind indoors, Surfside is the ultimate summer setting for casual dining, refreshing cocktails, and the seacoast's best entertainment. Located directly over the ocean on Salisbury Beach, Surfside serves up leisurely lunches, family dinner fare, and weekend dining deals. Seating is available under their covered outdoor deck pavilion in private cabanas for groups of four to six, or at the edge of the deck for sensational wave watching. Surfside is north of Boston's destination for fun under the sun. Surfside is the place to celebrate summer with friends and family. You know, Gianna, one of the most popular spots to be during the summertime in this area has got to be Martha's Vineyard. They have the best beaches, obviously summer scenes, and fresh fish. Our girl Alex Garino actually just visited the vineyard recently to go to the net result. They have the freshest seafood and a sushi bar. Reel us in, Alex. <laughs> 
eating fresh seafood is a summer rite of passage. And here on Martha's Vineyard, there's a local treasure that serves up the freshest seafood on the island. Let's check out the net result where the catch of the day is always just a short distance away. Seven miles off the south coast of Cape Cod, the island of Martha's Vineyard has a long history of harvesting the sea. For centuries, ships have sought safety in her harbor and fishing vessels have long called Menemsha their home port. Fishermen arriving from the rich waters of Georgia's bank arrived there first, so it's only natural that Martha's Vineyard is where you can find the freshest seafood at incredibly low prices. Well, we have you know a, a large variety of seafood here, uh, but we have a truck that uh, is off island every day uh, to get uh, the varieties of, of uh, fish and seafood that uh, aren't landed on the vineyard. Situated on the beautiful Vineyard Haven Harbor, the net result takes advantage of the ocean's riches to bring you fresh seafood to purchase and cook at home, as well as takeout items and a sushi bar where you can eat fresh fish to your heart's desire. We kind of do a bit of it all, uh, a very busy takeout service. Uh, we have a wholesale department that services uh, a lot of the restaurants on the island, and then the retail case is always fresh and full. The takeout restaurant, obviously, we have uh, fried, fresh fried clams, fresh fried uh, haddock, uh, and we also have sushi. So uh, I own three other restaurants, and my sushi chef from my other uh, restaurant, the Lookout Tavern, he set up shop here so you can get fresh sushi to go also. The net result keeps up with the latest techniques of shipping and refrigeration to deliver their fish to the mainland so that customers living off island can enjoy the same fresh fish as vineyarders living on the rock. Former Senator Secretary of State John Kerry, uh, he's a regular uh, that comes in. Um, actually, my good friend Jim Belushi, he comes in for fresh uh, seafood. Carly Simon comes in. We'll see Bill Murray uh, will stop in. Um, actually, Bill stops in to uh, the Lookout Tavern. He loves sushi, and uh, he'll pick up sushi to go here. So you never know who will uh, come through the door here. Seafood was great. It was fresh. We had some fried clams. We had french fries. We had oysters. The service is great. People were great. Very clean. We had a great time. The net result says their fish are so fresh that it's sure to make you blush. Whether you're stopping in to pick up some fresh lobster and steamers or sitting down to eat some fresh sushi, the net result is sure to make a lasting impression on your Martha's Vineyard experience. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Alex Garino. Thanks, Alex. That place looks amazing. You definitely can't beat fresh fish and sushi during the summertime. And you know what, Kendra? That's the best thing about vacationing in New England. You can always expect great food, great drinks, and a couple little screwball cocktails. So, Kelsey Gataco is actually over at George's of Galilee in Rhode Island. George's of Galilee, I heard, is another place that you can expect an amazing sunset and even more food, more drinks. So, let's see what's going on there. Here at George's of Galilee, they live by the mantra, eat fish, love life. And if you ask me, those are some words to live by. Now let's go get a little screwy. Overlooking the Block Island Sound and the picturesque fishing port of Galilee. If you look around, I feel like you can't find something like this anywhere else around, especially right now with everything going on. George's of Galilee Waterfront Seafood Restaurant is a year-round venue that has served generations of families its award-winning dishes for more than 72 years. The seafood comes right off those boats, gets cooked, and goes right onto the plate. Uh, so it's about as fresh as you could ever get. George's of Galilee remains a tried and true destination because of their wide selection of fresh local seafood, lobster specials, a new sushi menu, and for the meat lovers in the house, fresh hand-cut ribeye steaks. We were actually supposed to leave tonight, drive back to New Jersey, but after being here for about three hours, we decided we got to book another hotel room. We have to stay tonight, another night. It's a one-in-a-kind place over here so that, you know, you can be able to relax, bring your family, have a few drinks, kick back and, I don't know, see where the night leads. Enjoy a great view. Absolutely, 100%. The only thing that can make these Oceanside views a little better is a few screwball peanut butter cocktails. Screwball whiskey with our signature mudslide. We mix the two together and you get like a peanut butter slide. It's something that guests don't get a chance to get at a lot of places, so it's really unique. What is the most ordered shot? I would say the screwball whiskey is probably the most popular shot we have right now. We're running it on special, everyone's loving it, and we people can't get enough. I like it, it's very nice. But George's of Galilee goes beyond serving the freshest boat-to-plate seafood 
and refreshing summer cocktails. The venue is also one of the most entertaining and scenic locations for outdoor dining. George's Patio and Tiki Bar that's literally built on the sand create a tropical atmosphere that can't be beat. So I have Carlos here who is going to show me what flair bartending is. Something I've never seen before. Flair bartending is a little different. Uh, you have different styles. You have exhibition, fire, and working flair. Working flair is making cocktails with unique techniques and adding a little bit of flair like tricks to it to keep your guests entertained. Great time, great vibes. It is hot. I'm Kelsey Kataka reporting for Dirty Water Media. Up next, we'll take you inside Surfside Salisbury and show you a taste of heaven right on Salisbury Beach. And Gianna Gravelisi will mix things up behind the bar with Jose Cuervo. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Water TV. I'm Kendra Middleton coming to you at the Jose Cuervo Summer Tour from Surfside Salisbury hanging out with Kathy. Kathy, obviously there's a lot of changes this summer but you guys are so known for your nightlife. What kind of adjustments are you guys making to keep the party going this summer? Well the party is going with this incredible food display. Absolutely. We have transformed into a restaurant this year to offer our fresco dining out here on this gorgeous 8,000 square foot deck that has incredible ocean views. I mean, can you beat tonight? It is just a perfect 10 yeah. here on Salisbury Absolutely. Beach. Absolutely. So can you tell me a little bit about what you guys are offering this summer food-wise? I mean, we have all this stuff here, so let's talk about it. So for starters, you can start with our famous sea glass lump crab cake, handmade in-house that comes with an aioli and a roasted corn salsa. We also have coconut shrimp that's served with a chili lime sauce. Then dinner entrees, we transition to lobster tacos, mm. really, really popular, mm -hmm. one of our number one sellers. Blackened salmon served with a saffron rice and roasted seasonal vegetables. Everyone loves a good burger, For so sure. our burger has bacon, avocado, cannibal barbecue sauce, and then tuna poke bowl. We have several different bowls that we offer for people who want to eat on the healthy side. Absolutely. I noticed you guys have vegetarian options, vegan options. Yes. You guys really have something for everyone here. But I think my question is, Kathy, if it's your night off, what are you choosing? Oh, what are you coming in yeah. to get? What do you dream about late at night? Well, honestly, these are some of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I would go lobster tacos, crab cake, coconut shrimp. From the expert, she knows, she knows. <laughs> you guys, obviously, you're keeping the party going with the live music. Can you tell me about the entertainment kind of stuff that's going on here this summer? So every Friday and Saturday night, we like to bring in some acoustic entertainment that people can enjoy listening to while they enjoy dinner and their favorite beverage. For sure. So, Kathy, coming in to get those lobster tacos, what kind of cocktail on, you know, maybe a Friday, Saturday night with some live music are you going to pair with those? Well, my go-to favorite is a margarita, but you can't beat a nice frozen pina colada on a gorgeous evening. Also, watermelon mojitos are really, really popular yeah. here. But the mango margarita, and ours just isn't any straight, normal mango margarita, <laughs> has pop rocks in it. Well, I mean, I, I have a sweet tooth, so I can say I would definitely enjoy that. I might have to order one in a few minutes, but I heard Gianna might be mixing up some of those margaritas over at the bar, so let's go check in with her. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Betsy here at the bar at Surfside, and she's going to show us Jose Cuervo's drink of the summer. We're making a mango margarita today, so I add ice to my shaker glass. Then I add some Cuervo gold, of course. It's wonderful tequila. Cointreau. 
And then we have mango margarita mix. And how are people enjoying the drink this summer? This has been so popular, we can't keep the Cuervo stock. But our special treat, little pop rocks. Pop rocks inside of a drink? That sounds like something that makes this drink stand out from all other Jose Cuervo drinks than before. I think it does, and it adds such a fun sparkle to your drink. Wow, look at that. Absolutely delicious. The Pop Rocks give it so much sweetness, little fun flavor. Delicious, absolutely amazing. And up next, we'll wrap things up from Surfside Salisbury. We'll watch the sun go down on another amazing summer tour show. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Hi, I'm Joe from Three Rivers, the home of serious fun. Maine's number one outfitter for rafting, lodging, and nightlife. Since 1997, our team of outdoor professionals has been providing people with fun, safe outdoor adventures to create memories that will last a lifetime. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Gianna Gravelisi. And I'm Kendra Middleton. We have been so lucky to hang out here tonight at Surfside Salisbury for our 2020 Jose Cuervo Summer Tour on National Tequila Day, no less, Gianna. Yes, Kendra, it has been such a fun night here between the food, the delicious drinks, and just the overall atmosphere. And none of it would have been possible without Surfside Salisbury. And a big shout out to Jose Cuervo. Check out our website at dirtywatermedia.com and all of our social media to keep up with our future summer shows at the Landing and Trader Eds. You know, we have a saying here on Dirty Water. The weekend may be over, but, but the, the party, party never ends on Dirty Water, Water TV. TV.